Due to sanctions against Russia, its state-based corporation has lost almost 80 percent of its income from cooperation with foreign companies. This was admitted by the head of the state corporation, Yuri Borisov. In 2022, the company lost more than 50 billion rubles. In 2021, 30 billion. By the end of 2023, the losses will be even greater, analysts predict. Apparently, the Kremlin has decided to abandon the ambitions of the state power. In the 2024 budget, the allocations for the state space program were reduced by 1.3 billion rubles. And in 2025, space fundings will be cut by another 14 billion. The citizens of the Federation do not need quality cars either. Thus, Kremlin authorities say that in 10 years, Mercedes and BMW will be a thing of the past and everyone will switch to the Chinese car industry. By everyone, he obviously meant Russians, and they are forced to switch to Chinese cars because there are simply no others left in the country. The leading companies have left the Russian market. However, Russians will soon run out of money even for Chinese cars. According to a survey by the Higher School of Economics, 60% of their citizens have no savings for a rainy day. The most financially insecure group of citizens were people of pre-retirement age, 55 to 64 years old. Among them, 40% of respondents reported having savings. Young Russians more often than average reported having a financial savings, 54% in the group of 18 to 24 years old and 45% of those aged 25 to 34. From a publication in the Telegram channels, the Moscow Times. According to official statistics from the Central Bank of Russia, Russians' debts to banks have grown to a record 35 billion rubles. This is the worst figure since 2015. The total debt rose by 6 trillion rubles in the first 10 months of 2023, accounting to 34.8 trillion rubles. We are going backwards from a market economy and every day there are reports about that. It's an endless stream. Yesterday a decision was made to expand the central bank's authority over the currency market. The central bank was given the right to kick out of the currency market those who are not doing business the way the central bank likes. We are going back to the 1990s. Not only me, but many of my colleagues confirm that. Inflation is eating up Russians' pensions. According to an analysis by the Center for Macroeconomic Analysis and Short-Term Forecasting, the real size of pensions for the poor have been below the last year's level for two months now, and it is still declining. Wages are also depreciating due to inflation. Inflation is too high, and the financial position of companies is no longer reliable enough to raise wages quickly, even in conditions of a pronounced labor shortage. Experts from the Center of macroeconomic analysis and short-term forecasting from a publication in the Telegram channel The Moscow Times. There is an acute shortage of personnel in the state. Hundreds of thousands of Russian citizens have died in the Russia's war against Ukraine. Hundreds of thousands have left the country due to mobilization and Kremlin's repressions. According to Russian media reports, the labor shortage in some regions have reached 70 to 90 percent. For example, there were only 26 applications for 100 advertised vacancies in September 2023, which is the lowest number since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Yulia Hranovska, UATV News.